Hi, Mike. I told you I'd give you a little video response. You had posted a, another one of your wonderful drawings over on Five Pencil Method Community of your daughter. And uh, I just had an immediate impression I wanted to share with you. And you had already invited uh, comments uh, some time ago so that you can continue improving. And I just, again, wanted to give you my in initial uh, uh, impression when I looked at this. And I'm going to refer back to uh, one of the lessons in the free tutorials, the free lessons over on 5pencilmethod.com, and that is the rules of light. Uh, I know I mention it often, but it is still something that I want to make sure people don't miss so that you can easily uh, improve your picture. And in my mind, I think that will happen here. And so I want to uh, talk to you a little bit about the fact that both of these eyes seem to be a little different value. And uh, this one is a little darker on the right, and yet this is on the lighted side of the face. As it moves into the shadow area where the hair is, is uh, blocking the light, uh, if you follow the rules of light, everything would get darker as it goes into where there's less light. So it is possible, I don't think it's the case, but I, it is possible that these are actually both quite the same value. But because this is in a darker set, it may appear lighter. And so every time I move something in to where there's less light, it will increase in value. The same as the other way, everything that comes to where there's more light will increase, uh, you know, decrease in value. Uh, it will get brighter. How did I say that? Anyway. So I want to just in Photoshop just emphasize that it's always good to have a little bit of a visual and I thought maybe I could just enhance that uh, value and uh, allow you to uh, just see it increase. I hope it won't be too much. But the pupil will be a little darker. Everything that goes into that dark will increase the eyelashes. Of course, you know, you might have to really scrutinize your reference. It is nice to be able to see it, but you can also use these in a common sense way so that you know when the detail or something that's darker out where it's lighter goes to where there's less light, it will continue to increase. So instead of this eyebrow becoming somewhat nebulous and you lose the form of it, and I realize that she doesn't have long, uh, you know, a long arch to this but it would probably get a little darker here. So the eyelashes as well. It would be a little darker, or at least complete and go to the finish line. Uh, you know, obviously, each thing within this eye is going to get a little darker. So I've increased the value of the pupil, the eyelashes, and, and remember that everything increases in value. So uh, if you have the opportunity, you might want to cast a little in the lighter part of the eye, in the iris and in the white of the eye, so that it, again, is consistent on how it communicates that we are going to where there's less light. I think these are some of the very, very easy uh, things that anyone can do uh, to their pictures. And once you realize the benefits and you see that visual display of how well it works, that you'll search for other places in your picture to do that. And uh, I wanted to just thank you for giving me the opportunity. I know this is quick, but I still think it's important enough just to give you that one little reminder, just as it would be if I was sitting next to you. So I hope you're doing well. Look forward to your next picture. And again, what a beautiful uh, uh, drawing you've done of your daughter, and you've gradually worked through your family. And uh, it's exciting to see. Thanks for sharing it with us over in the Five Pencil Method community.